Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to edit a video, cut it up, and give it a finishing touch using the Shotcut free video editing software. After watching this very short video, you will know how to open your own video and move it into a video track. You can move the video around the video track, either forwards or backwards. You will be able to cut the video into smaller pieces. You'll be able to copy, remove, and rearrange those pieces of video. And then lastly, you'll be able to export the video to be played as a finished product. If you like helpful videos, then please subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell notifications so you will know as soon as I upload new content. Now let's begin. When you first open Shotcut, it will ask you to name the project. Let's call it Project 1. And we hit Start. Let's open File, My YouTube Videos. Let's do this video here. Okay, so now we have a video loaded. This is not ready to edit. We need to click, hold, and drag, move it down into this, see this says timeline right here? This whole area down here is the timeline. Drop it anywhere in here and boom. We now have V1, video track one. We're going to cut this into a few different pieces, so right-click anywhere in here. We're going to go to Track Operations. We're going to add a video track. Notice how it puts it on top. Track Operations. We're going to add another video track. And we'll do one more for fun. We may use them, we may not. So this is one of my videos I made before. It is way too big to see on the timeline right now, so let's zoom out. Zoom out again. That's going too slow, so let's click right here. Oh, that was almost perfect. Zoom in. Nope. Zoom back out. There. So this is the video. We can move it up. Up again. We can move it over. And with nothing here, if you hit play, you see only empty dark screen. This is called the playhead. Put it right here. Hit play. You get dark screen until it starts. So let's put it right there. Let's go right in the middle. Click on it. And then this little image right here says split at playhead. Boom, we just split it into some pieces. Notice how when you click each piece, it's highlighted in a red border. Move the playhead to over here. And then you click the split at playhead. One and two. So even though you had this selected, wherever the playhead was, that's where you put the split. Now if they were on top of each other, then what happens? So, when you're splitting, it's always best to highlight and select which one you want to be split. So, let's put the playhead right there. Move that guy kind of centered. Click it and split. We'll put a piece of video there. We'll put a piece of video there. We're going to put the playhead right here. But... We're going to click the middle one, so when we split at playhead, it only does the middle one. Now I want to do the bottom one. Click the bottom, split at playhead. There. So now we just cut my movie into a whole bunch of pieces. The order is now scrambled. It doesn't matter. Let's put them back in any order. Grab a piece, move it to the beginning. You see how it kind of magnets in? It just kind of pulls itself into the last spot. Shotcut will do that for you to help you line up without skipping any frames. Now, they can touch right next to each other. Boom. Or they can be offset. This one can be up here. Boom. See? This is called the timeline because it goes from here to here to here to here 
Now there's nothing here, so if we put the next piece of video right there, and then that one's there. Now if the playhead is in the way, the piece will magnet to the playhead. Boom. See? So it will either magnet to the last part of the previous video, or it'll magnet to the playhead. Boom. So this is way too long. Let's remove some. So let's right click and go to remove. Let's right click and remove this guy. Same thing happens if you click it and just go to your keyboard and hit the delete key. So let's zoom in. See, I'm only gonna want three pieces keep this video short so if we zoom in it's a little too much there we are we're gonna work with this piece at the end so let's remove this let's remove that let's take this last piece we're gonna cut it into a few pieces it's 25 seconds long. See, it starts here, zero. Move the cursor. You can see how many seconds of film is happening. So this film is a little, it's about 41 seconds. Let's make it even shorter. Split it, remove. So now this guy here, we're gonna cut into pieces. Cut there. Cut there. We have a lot of pieces now. And let's begin. Let's move the playhead over here. Let's drag that guy. And all I'm showing you now is how to line up your film for final. I'll put this one right next to it. That one overlapped a little. I'm going to hit uh, undo. That was undo movement or control Z is for undo. Uh, I don't that's too many pieces. Okay, so our timeline will go from here to there, to there, to there, to there. And for the last touch, let's give it a very simple filter. Very simple fade in video. Let's make it two seconds so it really stands out. Then for the last one, we'll give it a fade out video. Again, two seconds. So then the last thing to do is to go up here to export. We'll use the default settings. We'll hit export file. Project one. We'll hit save. Now it's going to show the progress right here. This is why I wanted a uh, short film so it would export quickly. So this is project1.mlt. This is an ongoing project. We're going to close this. We can always come back to it and move things around or add special effects. So as long as we don't get rid of this .mlt file, this shortcut file, save and close. Let's open up the movie that we just made. So, sort of like Huge spill everywhere, 1500 lumen light. Although, but it's like a helicopter spotlight. Um, doesn't go as far as this guy. I think this one ran me about $47. It's rechargeable, and so this is my. I can just keep recharging it. This guy is sits on the shelf, being perfect. With those batteries, it lasts. Okay, that's our finished project. Thank you for joining me. For more tutorial videos, please leave a questions or comments in the comment section below. And again. If you enjoy this helpful material, please like, share, and subscribe. 
Thank you. We'll see you next time.